Right guys, so did myself a bit of a hop up here, just a wee bit quicker on this bigger one. Just thought I'd show you a nice bit of an angle here for a good video, possibly. Um, just showing you how I finish off. Well, there's an hour trial or two to go at this here, but just thought I'd show you a bit of a clip trial up and stuff here. I've had to put on quite a layer of stuff on this wall as it was it's a very very bad shape so it was so I'll definitely push the skin to its limits you know and that noise you just might be hearing in the background is the, the batteries are charging for the drills we've got the, the both the colo mix and the, the ruby drill sort of going here the colo mix has been the, probably the more the main one but the Ruby wants the Colo mix, instead of messing about the batteries, the two drills sort of just back each other up. And it just means you can, you know, finish that mix off. So we'll never be without plaster. What's a plaster without plaster? Hmm? <laughs> but, um, ah, sure. I'm using multi skim again, the same as what I was doing on the, the ceiling and the previous videos and stuff. Definitely seems to be taking a wee bit more trial to get this wall in the shape. And that jug and there was probably a bag and a quarter on this wall alone. It's normally only a bag would do a wall this sort of size. So I've definitely had to put more onto it. Two coats of PVA as well because again this wee old house is a wee bit iffy on the background surfaces. So trying to make sure we get a good ball. And the PVA will definitely give us that. I can feel it pulling in lovely too. Just keep them angles clean as possible as I go. Ceilings not to be done in this room, just the walls. But, uh, you can see how handy a wee bench would actually be on a type of wall that's a wee bit long, instead of moving hop ups a bit. Might be a bit handier, but of an idea for you, you know. You don't, you don't have a hop up and you have some trestles and planks on the job, it'd be just as handy. Just make sure on a, this wall's high enough, so you just want to make sure you go low. Trail it down nice and low. So they're not having to move planks back across to get out. So it's a tap done, right for the bottom. Not sure on what size of skirting the guy's putting on this. Um, I tried my best to get this bottom angle as straight as possible for the joiner coming in behind me. So walls, like I said previous, none of these walls have been chipped right back. They've all just been, the loosest parts have been taken off. And the guy just wants a, a reskin done, so you gotta do what the boss wants. And the boss is gonna get what he wants, so. Just re-skimming them all like that. I think the whole bottom of that there was uh, cemented along where the old skirting was plastered to instead of plastered around. That way. Definitely a wee bit of work on, on it when you have to go a heavier coat. A wee bit more trowel and a wee bit more filling out as you go. This is actually my second trowel so it is Shaping up nicely. But, but that's the crack. Just make sure you're always pulling your water away with your skates.
we actually had to have a wee heater on the day. It's been it was minus three, minus four on the way in to work. And probably this house probably was sitting at about minus two anyway, just because there's no heating in this house. There's nothing, no electric or anything really. We're just working off the front front box, but all the electrics have been all disconnected and stuff. As you can see here, nice and safe for us to work in. The way to go. Yeah, I don't. I normally prefer the car light, but this 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 multi skin is going nicely on these walls now. See, normally find it a bit harder to close in and stuff, but he's just maybe that one is just mixed perfect.